वेलकम मई डियर लर्नर्स फॉर दिस कोर्स ऑन मेकानिकल वैब्रेशन इन दिस मॉड्यूल वन वी वर् डिस्कसिंग आन फ्री अंडैम्ड एंड डैम्ड वैब्रेशन अनालिस सो फार वी हव साव टू न्यूमरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन डैम्ड वैब्रेशन अनालिस लेट अस कंटिन्यू अवर डिस्कशन दि प्रॉब नंबर थ्री स्टेट्स दट फैन दि ईक्वेशन आफ मोशन फॉर द सिसम शोन इन फिगर वेन जीटा इज ईक्वल टू वन वेन जीटा इज ईक्वल टू पॉइंट थ्री एंड वेन जीटा इज ईक्वल टू टू दि मास इज डिस्प्लेस्ड बै अ डिस्टन आफ थ्री सेंटीमीटर एंड रिलीज वाट ही इज आस्किंग इज टू डिटर्मैन दि सिसम रेस्पास् ई वॉन्ट टू गिव एन ईक्वेशन फॉर डिस्प्लेसमेंट एक्स एज ए फंक्शन आफ टाइम फॉर दीज थ्री केसस् लेट अस साव दिस प्रॉब्लम इफ ए मूव फॉर सोल्यूशन आफ दिस प्रॉब्लम इन केस ये इज स्टेटिंग दट the value of damping factor or damping ratio is equal to 1 whenever the ratio whenever the damping ratio or damping factor is equal to 1 it is a case of critical damping so it is a case of critical damping for critical damping we have the system response as x is equal to a1 plus a2t e to the power of minus omega nt now he is stating that the mass is displaced by a distance of 3 cm and then released which means at time t is equal to 0 at time t is equal to 0 it is displaced for an amount of 3 cm which is 0.03 meters and then released so therefore there is no velocity at the moment when it is released use these two conditions and determine the value of a1 and a2 if i use the first condition it will become 0 is equal to a1 sorry x is not 0 x is 0.03 hence it is 0.03 is equal to a1 plus t is 0 this vanishes if you put t as 0 e to the power of 0 is unity so hence i got the value of a1 use the second condition not to use the second condition i should differentiate this with respect to time so therefore x dot will become what first function a1 plus a to t differentiation of second is minus omega n e to the power of minus omega n t plus second function e to the power of minus omega nt into differentiation of first differentiation of first is a2 now i want the value of a2 itself right let us substitute the known values x dot is 0 so if i substitute the value 0 will become how much a1 is 0.03 plus 0 substitute time t is equal to 0 times minus omega n plus a2 so therefore the value of a2 will become omega n times 0.03 omega n times 0.03 so substitute these two values hence the system response for critical damp system is turning out to be 0.03 plus a2 is 0.03 omega nt 0.03 omega nt correct yes into e to the power of minus omega nt so this is the system response for critical damped system this is system response for critically damped system next moving ahead for when zeta is equal to 0.3 zeta is equal to 0.3 is a case of under damped vibrating because zeta value is less than unity hence if i move for case b when zeta is equal to 0.3 when zeta is equal to 0.3 what i will get this is a case of under damped vibration for under damped vibration we have system response as c3 e to the power of minus zeta omega nt into sin of 
root of 1 minus zeta square omega nt plus phi 1. Here the constants are C3 and phi 1. Let us calculate C3 and phi 1 by using these two initial conditions. Since the same two initial conditions, I can do that at t is equal to 0. At t is equal to 0, x at t is equal to 0, what is the value of x? At t is equal to 0, the value of x 0 0.03. The value of x is 0. 0 0.03 meters. And also, at time t is equal to 0, it is released. The moment it released, its velocity is 0. At time t is equal to 0, velocity is also 0. Now, use these two conditions. Find the constants C3 and phi 1. Let me find these two. So, if I move ahead to find these two values, using the first one, put x is equal to 0 0.03. 0 0.03 will become what? 0 0.03 is equal to C3 e to the power of 0, e to the power of 0, sin phi 1. Because t is equal to 0, 0 and anything will become 0. Sin of 0 plus phi 1 is sin phi 1. Which means we have 0 0.03 is equal to C3 into sin phi 1. Let us take it as equation 1. Now use the second one. You know to use second one I want velocity. So therefore differentiate the system response. If I differentiate this, what I am going to get? X dot is equal to C3 is constant. This is also a function of time, this is also a function of time, hence I should use product rule that is C3 times first function e to the power of minus zeta omega nt differentiation of second. Differentiation of sin theta is cos theta cos of root of 1 minus zeta square omega nt plus phi 1 into coefficient of t that is let me write it as omega d that's it this term is called omega d this you people already know root of 1 minus zeta square into omega n is nothing but omega d plus second function second function is what sin of root of 1 minus zeta square omega n t plus phi 1 into derivative of first derivative of first is minus zeta omega n e to the power of minus zeta omega n t. So, differentiated whole multiplied by C3. Whole of this should be multiplied by C3. Now, substitute the values. Velocity is 0. So, 0 is equal to I will get C3 e to the power of 0 is 1. Here, I will get cos phi 1 into root of 1 minus zeta square into omega n plus plus into minus is minus minus zeta omega n sin of phi 1 sin of phi 1 that is what I will get so set c3 to left hand side 0 by anything will become 0. If I rearrange, I will get sin phi by cos phi is tan phi. Tan phi 1 is equal to root of 1 minus zeta square into omega n divided by zeta omega n. Omega n, omega n cancels. Hence, I can find the value of phi 1. Hope you followed. Send this c3 to Denominator 0 by C3 is 0, then you will get 0 is equal to this term. Now you send this to LHS, then we will get sin phi is equal to cos phi into this divided by zeta omega n. Then sin by phi cos phi can be written as tan phi. Tan phi is equal to root of 1 minus zeta square into omega n divided by zeta omega n. Hence, I will get the answer as tan inverse of root of 1 minus zeta value is known, right? Zeta is 0 0.3, 0 0.3 square divided by 
phi 1 is turning out to be 72.54 degrees so i know the value of phi 1 hence from equation 1 from equation 1 i can tell the value of c3 c3 will be 0 0.03 divided by sin phi 1 that is 0 0.03 divided by sin of 72.54 which is 0 0.0314 hence the system response will be x which is a function of t is equal to 0 0.03 e to the power of minus zeta is known zeta is 0 0.3 0 0.3 omega nt into into sin of root of 1 minus zeta square root of 1 minus zeta square 0 0.3 square is how much 0 0.956 954 you can write as 0 0.95 omega nt plus phi 1 is 72.54 degrees so this is the system response equation for underdamped vibrating system with underdamped vibration for the given initial condition for zeta is equal to 0 0.3 so you have done case A, you have done case B. Moon guide for case C is we should find system response for zeta is equal to 2. For zeta is equal to 2 in the sense zeta is greater than 1 which means it is overdamped system. So therefore moving ahead for case C when zeta is equal to 2. Zeta is equal to 2 is overdamped. Overdamped system case. For overdamped system we know the system response zeta greater than 1 we have the system response equation therefore x of t is given by a1 e to the power of minus zeta plus root of zeta square minus 1 omega nt plus a2 e to the power of minus zeta minus root of zeta square minus 1 into omega nt correct so this is a system response equation now we have two constants that is a1 and a2 now we have two equations also that is at x is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 0.03 at t is equal to 0 velocity is also 0 now use these two condition find the value of a1 and a2 that is at t is equal to 0 x is 0 0.03 if i use this i'll get the equation as 0 0.03 is equal to a1 plus a2 correct a1 plus a2 this is what i'll get take it as equation 2 now if i use at t is equal to 0 x dot equal to 0 for which I should differentiate this and then substitute so differentiate this and substitute where x dot will be what a1 is constant e to the power of ax is a e to the power of ax it is minus zeta plus root of zeta square minus 1 into omega n into e to the power of minus zeta plus root of zeta square minus 1 whole multiplied by omega nt plus a2 times minus zeta minus root of zeta square minus 1 omega n e to the power of minus zeta minus root of zeta square minus 1 omega nt so this is the differentiation i will get so therefore if i substitute the values i will get equation as 0 is equal to constant a1 times this term will become unity 
0 into anything will become 0. Substitute t is equal to 0, x dot is also 0. Now here I can solve that is minus 2 minus zeta plus root of zeta square minus 1. Value of zeta is 2. So if I substitute and solve, I will get the answer as minus 0 0.2679 omega n plus a2 times plus a2 times only thing is that I should put minus it is minus 3.732 minus 3.732 into omega n. So through it I can take omega n common and send it to RHS. 0 by omega n will become 0. Hence I will get minus 0 0.279 a1 minus 3.732 a2 is equal to 0. Correct. Omega n I will take common and send it to RHS and rearrange. That will give us equation number 3. Hope you followed. Take omega n common. Send it to left hand side. You left out with a1, A2. Here also I have A1, A2. Now solve two equations with two unknowns. So if we solve for two equations with two unknowns, I will end up with in first equation, quotient of A1 is 1, quotient of A2 is also 1, C is 0 0.03. In second equation, quotient of A1 will be 0 0.2679, quotient of B1 will be 3.732. C is 0. So if I solve, I will get the answer as A1 is 0 0.0323. So let me write the answer directly. So x of t will be equal to 0 0.032 is the value of A1, whereas the value of A2 is minus 2.32 into 10 to the power of minus 3. Let me keep it. That is value of a2 is minus 2.32 10 power minus 3 that is 0 0.00223 0 0.00232 e to the power of minus zeta plus root of zeta square minus 1 is how much so put zeta is equal to minus 2 minus 2 plus root of 2 square minus 1 that is e to the power of minus 0 0.268 omega nt 268 omega nt omega nt and here i will get e to the power of minus 3.732 e to the power of minus 3.732 omega nt. So this is a system response for overdamped system with zeta is equal to 2. So this is system response for critical damped system, this is system response for underdamped system and this is system response for overdamped system. So this is what is asked for various values of zeta. That's all from this lecture. Thank you all.